Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna discuss problem E titled as block sequence of yesterday's code forces contest round 903 division 3. So let's understand the problem statement first. So the problem statement was pretty much straightforward and uh, let's understand it quickly. So this problem basically involves the approach of dynamic programming. So in this video, I will I will explain you how to think that this problem involves dynamic programming. So let's understand the problem statement first. As I said, uh, the problem statement was uh, simple enough. So a sequence is called beautiful uh, if it has form of series of blocks. So what they mean by series of blocks. So let's understand with this example. So uh, in this sequence, as you can see, the first uh, number is three, right? Then after three, three elements is followed by three. So length three, like sub area of length three, three, four, five. Then it's two, the element is two. So it is followed by a sub area of length two. So this whole sequence can be called as uh, beautiful. So initially we are given a array of uh, length n and in each operations, we can remove one element from the given array. So we have to uh, answer that minimum how minimum how many operations required to make the given sequence beautiful. So the constants are as uh, usual, 2 into 10 to the power 5. So we can use only one for loop here. So let's understand why, uh, why we use dynamic programming in this problem. Um, so, so let's understand what, what we can remove. So we can remove one element, two elements, zero element, three element, four element. So uh, let's understand if we want to remove two element, then any of the two element we have to select from the array. So obviously this will lead uh, the brute force way will lead to uh, time limit exceeded error, right? So how we think of dynamic programming approach? So let me quickly move to the uh, my whiteboard. So here I have taken the two test cases. So in the first test case, n is seven and we are given uh, this as the sequence. So as we have uh, seen earlier, this is already beautiful. So we, uh, we don't need to remove any element. So number of operations is zero. So let me explain it again why the number of operation is zero. So the first element is three. So it is followed by three more elements. Then the uh, fifth element is two. It is followed by two elements. So the number of operation is zero because it is already beautiful. Now let's understand this test case. So we have n is equal to five and we have uh, five numbers here. So uh, let's, let's say we don't remove this, right? So after one, one element should follow this, right? So after three, three elements should follow this, but there are not, there are not three elements uh, right of this element, right? So we have to remove something. So, so let's say I remove this three, right? So I remove this three, the new sequence is one, two, one, two. So after one, it is followed by one element. After this one, it is followed by one element. So it is beautiful. So the number of operations is one. So yeah. So now uh, let's understand why we will use dynamic programming here and how we will use dynamic programming. So let's say we have n elements, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a n, right? So can you tell me, uh, if a seven is any number, let's suppose a seven is three, or a seven is um, so n is seven here, or uh, a seven is let's say two. So can you say if I wanna make if I wanna make uh, this this sub array only this sub array containing only a seven as beautiful? What I have to do? So let's. So let's take an array having only one element. So let's suppose it has only one element. So what we have to do? We have to remove this element to make the array beautiful. Because if let's say the minimum value of A can be one. So after this one element should be there, but the length of the sequence is only one. So we have to remove this. So let's make a DP array. 
So let's make a DP array uh, n plus one. I will explain you why I am taking this size as n plus one uh, later. So first, first we we have noticed that DP of n minus one will always be one because we have to remove uh, the last element, right? And uh, what DP of i denotes here? So DP of i denotes the number of operations the number of operations needed to make the sub array from index index i to n minus 1 beautiful right so uh, we have let me make it more clear so let we have let's say we have this array so what i am saying is dp of i will denote dp of i will denote this sub array so we can, uh, you can say suffix sub array also so sub array starting at index i and in ending at index n minus 1 so the dp of i will denote the number of operations needed to make it beautiful right so yeah so this was the uh, concept involved in this problem now now what will be the uh, what will be our answer so our answer will be simply dp of 0 right dp of 0 what, what dp of 0 will denote so the sub array starting from index 0 and ending at index n minus 1 that is whole sequence so we want that only right so let's build the uh, dp array so we will be building dp array from uh, back side from the reverse side as we see so so what will uh, dp of n minus 1 will be so dp of n minus 1 will be always 1 because the array starting from the n minus 1 index and ending at uh, n minus 1 index so we have to apply one operations to uh, to remove that element so that this array will become beautiful right now what we will be doing is we will be iterating from n minus 2 up to the zeroth index and uh, we have two options when we will reach the index i what options we will have either we remove the ith index so either remove ith index if possible so i will explain what why i have uh, written it either remove the ith index or don't remove it so we have two options when we will uh, reach ith index right so take the first uh, first case when we will uh, remove the ith index so when we will remove the ith index so what will be uh, let's say uh, int p as let's say int p as if we will remove ith index that means the number of operation will be 1 plus dp of i plus 1 right so why 1 because we are removing this element also so ith element also and if we don't remove the ith element then let's suppose int q int q will be dp of i plus ai plus 1 if i plus ai is less than n because uh, we can we can't exceed the number of indices you know so let me explain once again this part so let's let's understand yeah this was the dp of i plus 1 and we are at the ith index we are at the ith index now if i am going to take this element I mean I am not removing this element so let's suppose here uh, it is 5 so this element is 5 so after this it should be followed by 5 more elements right so 1 2 3 4 5 and after 5 elements we will add the dp of this index right so so uh, we have to output the minimum number of operations so dp of i will be minimum of pq uh, simply we will iterate from n minus 2 to 0 and we will output dp of 0 
So why dp of 0? Because it denotes uh, the whole sequence. So the minimum number of operations required in a whole sequence to make it beautiful. So our answer is answer is simply dp of 0. And one more thing we have to uh, take care of is this should not exceed our valid ind index, right? We have only n elements. So this this should not uh, exceed our uh, number of indices. Mm -hmm. So let's see its code. So code was pretty much simple. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, so code was basically uh, simple enough. So I have taken the input of n, then the array. So we can start building in bottom up manner as I have said in the video. So dp of i denotes the minimum number of operations needed to make sub array from index i to n minus 1 beautiful. So I have denoted, I have initialized a dp array of size n plus 1 and obviously dp of n is 0. And uh, so this if and else loop are not required. So we can simply put dp of n minus 1 as 1, right? Then I will, uh, then I am iterating here from n minus 2 to i is equal to 0. And here you can see I have taken p when, uh, this denotes when I have uh, removed the ith element. So let me just show you it in code, it will become more clear. Yeah. So uh, this is not needed if else loop, you can simply put it like uh, dp of n minus 1 is equal to 1 because we have to remove the uh, n minus 1th element right so uh, this one is for when when we remove when we remove ith element so when we will remove ith element so we are adding 1 to dp of i plus 1 right and I have initialized q as a very large number, so infinity. And if i plus a i is less than n, then only we can uh, select q. I mean, uh, don't remove q. So, I mean, don't remove the ith index, not q. I am sorry. Don't remove the ith index. So, in that case, we uh, must have, I mean, i plus, uh, sorry, a i elements uh, right to the ith index, right? So uh, that what, that's what I have done here. So Q will be simply dp of i plus ai plus uh, 1. And that what will be dp of i since we uh, want minimum number of operations. So dp of i will be minimum of pq. And simply we will output dp of 0. So that was the uh, implementation here. And so you can't solve it by brute force. It will uh, give you time limit exceeded here. So I hope you uh, understood the solution, uh, give us a thumbs up, thank you.